uh, last year was my last year in MX2. Um, had my best year to date, which is good. I finished sixth in the World Championship and uh, just missed out on the podium, which is a shame, but we managed to get that at the Nations, which was unbelievable. And um, yeah, now it's a new challenge. First year in the MXGP class. So I ride for JD Gunnix KTM racing team. Um, they're from Czech Republic, but they're now based in Lommel in Belgium. So good place to base. And uh, yeah, I've been speaking to them for a while and we've come up with a deal and I've got everything that I wanted that I need to, what I think to achieve great results. So um, we're all working hard and they're putting the time and effort in as well. So uh, that's nice to see. And um, yeah, hopefully I can repay them with some good results this year. Pre-season's going well and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the 450 much more power as I'm a bigger guy, it's better for me. I felt like I had to ride on the limit quite a bit more than the MXGP class. Like I've made hardly any mistakes riding the 450 as when I do make a mistake, I can just use the power to get me out of it. As on the 250, it's a bit more on the limit and I haven't got that power to play with to get, to get me out of the mistakes. And On the starts, that's where I felt like I struggled on the MX2 bike. Being a heavier guy on the metal grate, it's just it just didn't seem to work so uh, hopefully that's changed now in the 450 class and uh, you can see a few more hole shots from me. The adaptation from riding like a 250 to a 450 you can't ride the 450 like you can on a 250. Like I said on the 250 I was trying to get as much out of it as possible if you do that on a 450 it's just got way too much power to to be able to do that so um, it's been a fun challenge to, to, to learn and there's a lot to change obviously I've gone from Kawasaki now to KTM again and uh, new suspension, a completely new team, completely new bike. So there's been a lot changed and the off season seems to have gone really fast and really short, but um, I feel prepared. I'm as prepared as I can be. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to racing now. Obviously the GPS is the pinnacle. It's uh, 20 races around the world and that's the highest level you can be, especially in the MXGP class. Um, but that's also the toughest part about it. So much traveling, so many races, so much risk and um, yeah, the racing's close. As you can see, the MXGP class this year is stacked. And, uh, but like I said, I'm going in that underdog mentality and I don't really have any pressure on my shoulders as far as what results to, to, be, to be achieved. So I'm going to go there, do my best, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Everybody always asks my goal, but um, I just go every weekend, try my hardest. I've worked hard, so um, i got small goals in my mind, but I don't really say them out loud. So. Um, I go there, try my best, I've worked hard and I progress each week and see whether we end up at the end of the year. Hawkstone is, uh, is really close to my house, it's my local race if you wish, so a lot of people, my family and friends come to watch that don't normally get to see me, so that's fun, it's one of my favourite races of the year, I love the track there. Um, normally it's wet but this year it seems to be looking really good and uh, yeah, last year went really well, hopefully I can take two starts like last year and a bit more competition in MXGP this year. but and we'll see where we end up.